What time is it? What time is it? It's movie review time. It's movie review time. Where y'all at? Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. All right, y'all. As you have been following and have seen my videos already, this past weekend, I went to Orlando for the Toy Story 4 press junket where I screened the movie, got to screen it with the entire family. I interviewed the vo the stars, Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Keanu Reeves, which I already have my video up about the, the, the question I asked, that Keanu Sons is getting, going around everywhere, right? Well, now it's time that I can discuss the movie. Let's discuss, no spoilers. I'm not gonna give any spoilers. I won't do that to y'all. But I want to talk about the movie. So I know a lot of people have been asking, do we really need another Toy Story 4? Some people are saying, do we really need another Toy I've been hearing it everywhere. Comments when I did my um, trailer reactions for Toy Story 4. Do we need another Toy Story 4? My answer is always yes. I will always, I will always welcome another Toy Story movie. I loved every single one of them. And I say they can't get enough. But I can understand why some people are like, another one? How many years has been? Well, because to Toy and Toy Story 3 kind of like wrapped up the whole, you know, Woody saying goodbye to Andy and all that. Well, you know there's always been a question. Who's been missing number one? Who's been missing from the last Toy Story 3? We only see a little bit in Toy Story 2. Bo Peep. And that's been like the question. What's happened to Bo Peep? We find out. The beginning, right at the beginning of Toy Story 4, they, it starts out where years back, like it goes back to what, like 1994, something like the, what, the last time we seen her. That's when it goes back to. And they're showing toys being donated. Well, guess what? The Bo Peep was donate, donated, put in a box. Even then, there, Woody sees it. He, they, he, you know, because he's always on the rescue, trying to jump down, jump out the window, go and save Bo Peep. They have this little moment under the car while they're waiting and by the box to get donated. And Bo Peep is like, Woody, it's okay. It's my time to go. And then she's like, come with me. And he thinks about it. He does. Like for a second, he's like, she's like, come with me. And you, you're like, you get, you're like, he wants to go with her. He does, but then something happens, and then he's, he, you know, what well, you know, he doesn't go with her. He stays, he stays, and all that, but it was, it seems like always been his regret. And now he, here he is with Bonnie, with Bonnie, new toys, and he's kind of like, he's used to being the favorite, right? He was always like Andy's favorite toy, but he's kind of just been like left in the closet, like not being played with. Not like the head of the toys anymore. Kind of just like the forgotten toy almost by Bonnie. She hasn't been playing with him. But he still loves, but he is still a dedicated toy. Still loves her, right? She's starting kindergarten. He's all worried about her. So they go on the first day to kindergarten, right? They go on the first day. He sneaks in her bag, which he ain't supposed to do. He said, don't, don't bring any toys. But he sneaks in her bag. He was watching her while she's there. He sees, though, like they did a little craft. They do a little craft and has all the craft. And then some kid comes and takes the, all the supplies, you know, and she looks over and there's no things to craft. So she starts crying. So Woody sees this. He goes and saves the day, goes and jumps, gets some, some supplies out the trash, throws it on the table for her. Like, Woody's always there for Bonnie. Saves it for her. And what does she make? Forky, the new beloved character who will be like one of your favorites, right? Forky is already, like right when we saw Forky in the trailer, we're like, Forky's our favorite. And guess what? He's also Bonnie's favorite. But he don't want to be no favorite. Forky, <laughs> Forky's crazy, y'all. For the whole time, like Forky's just like, I'm trash. I'm trash. Throwing himself in the trash can. All night long, th there's Woody in the trash can. He and Woody throwing him back because Bonnie wants to like sleep with just Forky, and he's throwing him back. And then they go on like this this RV like road trip. 
Bonnie and she brings all the toys. Of course, Forky. And Forky's always trying to get away. For, Forky starts getting on my nerves. I'm like, Forky, I'm trash. Jumping out the windows. And she's always losing them. And Roy's always there to save the day. Still not the favorite toy. He's the one saving the day. Not the favorite. Forky, this one that's trying to throw himself in the trash is the favorite toy. So finally, that like, and they were taking shit. Watch Forky, watch Forky. Then Forky jumps out the window. Woody jumps out after him, save him. And that's real like where the thing picks up. Because from there, I mean, he goes after him. They, they, he finds him. Like they're, they, they come across like this antique shop. That's what happens. They walk past like the antique shop. And that's kind of why they, he sees like the lamp. Like Bo Peep's lamp, but she ain't there. But they have a whole thing in the antique shop. He reconnects with her. Finds out that she's, this, this is a thing too. Finds out Bo Peep is not, doesn't have like a, a owner. But oh no, Bo Peep is brand new. This is a new Bo Peep. We don't know about this Bo Peep. This Bo Peep done lost her little Bo Peeps. She's now an independent She's a strong, independent toy that don't need no owner. So, yeah, it's like the whole story of getting Forky back, Woody finding Bo Peep, you know, them working together, him seeing that, you know, lost, you know, toys without owners ain't so bad. I cried. I did. I cried. And I don't, like, there's a lot of movies I want. Like, I, I can cry on some, like, you know, I was crying on some songs and stuff like that. But I don't cr cry a lot on movies. I don't. Even some parts that you would think sad. I don't cry a lot. This made me cry. This movie made me cry. It was funny. Funny. It was everything you would think a Toy Story movie should be. Everything. And then all the new characters. Even the villain character. So, you see, like, Gabby. Gabby is, like, a new character. The girl, that's the girl from the antique shop. And she got those, those ventriloquist dummies that are right there and everything. She's like the villain kind of in this. But even they're showing like the villains in this have like a heart, you know? So like you see like the villains, but you see like why they're like that. And, and they give them like emotion, you know, humanity and kind of like the heart. They give the, the villains a heart. So even like the new character, the villain, new character, Gabby, Gabby. You know, the, and my favorite, Keanu says, Keanu Sans, Keanu Reeves as Duke Kaboom. And they called, at the press junket, they called his character a crybaby. Because <laughs> he's like an unwanted toy too. He is like, he's, his thing is that he was like, he was like this TV show, right? So they showed him on this, on the TV, the commercial, like Duke Kaboom. And, and he's in Canada and do kaboom and he does this and he'll flip this and jump, jump things and all this. And so like the little boy, what was his name? Like Raul or something like the owner that he got, Raul, asked for him like for Christmas and, and got do kaboom for Christmas and was all excited. Oh, do kaboom. And then we went to play with it. It wasn't like what he saw in the commercial. It wasn't, he didn't jump. You got toys like that before, right? It's going to do all this stuff. And then you bring it home and you're like, oh, it don't do all that. So that's kind of like what Duke Kaboom is. He was like an unwanted toy. Like they had too high expectations or he underperformed the first time. So there's that character, which I love. I mean, so the new characters alone, but, and I ain't going to spoil it, but I'm just saying it will. And you'll have happy tears. It's, I mean, it's going to be sad. Like it's a mixed emotions. It, it brought tears, but happy ones. And, and I think it ended the way it should have. That ain't telling much, is it? It ended the way it should have. I don't know if it's going to be always the way you want or whatever. It ended the way it should have. Ended perfectly for me. Ended perfectly the end. Um, I loved seeing all but the new toys. But, you know, one thing is like you see all like you see Jesse. You see the potato heads and all that. But the story is not really centered around them much. And they're not in it that much. It's centered really around the new toys. And, you know, Woody's journey, not even that much buzz. You know, you get Woody's journey and then Forky and all that stuff. So it's really sitting around the new toys, you know, coming to terms with not having a toy owner. Woody kind of finding himself. 
re-finding Bo Peep. And is that love connection still around? Like, remember, they was kind of had a thing. Is that still around? So, I'm telling y'all, it's, it's, it's the toy store you know and love. It is. It's another masterpiece added to the Toy Story, you know, magnificent franchise. Is that what I should say? The magnificent franchise. It was everything. I give it a five out of five. I loved it. I mean, I love Toy Stories. I love the first three. I can't talk bad about it, anything in the first three. And I feel like this is just another perfect addition to it. So go see it. Go see it. You will love it. And if you're a Toy Story fan already, if you're a Toy Story fan already, you're going to love it. Even my kids who watched the third one, they didn't even watch the first two. I know they watched the third one a long time ago in the little. Even my son was crying. My 13-year-old won't admit it. Won't admit it, but he was, <laughs> you know, crying, laughing, laughing loud. So they loved it too. And they're not even the biggest Toy Story fans, but they loved it. But I am, and I loved it. My husband loved it, everybody. So I, it's one for all the family. All right, y'all. Till next time. You know what to do. Subscribe, comments, thumbs, all that. Bye.